Christ not your holy name. We magnify you. You are the one who sits by the circle of the eggs. And all the inhabitants are like grasshopper. We worship the King of Glory. You are the God of gods. The Elohim is your name. Adonai. Jehovah Shammah. Jehovah Sikhem. We bow before your throne this morning. We submit our spiritual body to you. We have to use us like never before. Thank you, Father. Even as I take authority, cast every principality and power, bind every spirit of affliction, every demon of untimely death, and turn you back to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout it in Amen. Amen. Put your hands to your Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, take your seats. Praise God. God is in this place. God is with us. And if God be for us, no one can be against us. Hallelujah. God has begun a new thing, my means. And he who has begun this thing will perfect it. In the name of Jesus, can you shout amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning, I will briefly preach on a topic titled Fire for Survival. Fire for Survival. We are in the end time. A lot of things are going wrong today. So, for you to survive the time we are in, you need a fire of God. For you to survive in the time which we are in, we are in the end time. We are in the injury time as many who are careless who become victims of circumstances. You shall not be a victim. Amen. You shall not be a victim of circumstances. You shall not be a victim of this entire name of Jesus. A lot of things are going wrong. People are dying. People are perishing. People are struggling, yet they don't know what they are struggling for. Laboring and don't see results. But today God will see you too. God will separate you by his fire. God will distinguish you in this turbulent time in the name of Jesus. Just like in Nigeria, people are suffering. You have your cash, you cannot buy. We now buy money in Nigeria. Everything has failed. We are only looking up to God who cannot fail. So it's time for Nigeria to look back to God. It's time for Nigeria to look up to God to put their gaze in Christ. Because I want to let you know that no man, no mortal man can help you, no mortal man can save you. No political party can save you, and no presidential aspirant can save you. The only one that can help you in the time which we are in is Jesus. You need him. Why Nigerians are crying, there is no cash. Banks are giving just one thousand naira. When you go to a bank to collect your money, money in your account, then you can only pick one thousand or two thousand, which is less than a dollar to survive. Why one of the presidential aspirants is getting married this week? Somebody that wants to rule in his wife is a pastor and is getting married to a Muslim woman this week. The man that wants to rule Nigeria, it cannot happen. God Himself will fight for this nation. It, it doesn't matter their plans, whatever agenda they have, whatever the cabals are planning, God Himself will stand as God Amen. over Nigeria. He will rule over Nigeria Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God will defend this nation. Amen. I said, God will defend this nation Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Only look up to God. Only look up to Jesus. The Bible says He is the author and the finisher of your faith. Then 
That's why I, uh, if, if not for the grace of God, I wouldn't have been preaching this morning because I lost my elder brother. That was on, on Wednesday. And I have three nights to save with the Anglican, which I only went for one night and passed the, the, the other two days. And I'm only here preaching this one because God has called me to preach. And He has given me the grace to preach to you. This young man that died has struggled and, and spent all of his life savings just to survive from kidney and liver problem. So there's nothing you think you have that can save you or that can help you. There's no connection that can save you. The only one you need is Jesus. Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and life. He's the one that gives life. He's the one that comforts those who are mine, who are so. You need him. A lot of things are going wrong today. He said, Oh, no boys who went to Yahoo. They use young girls for whatever thing they are doing. And those girls will not consider their life anymore. That's why you need the fire of God. So you don't be a victim of those. Man, I was somewhere and, and, and someone brought a video of a young girl of about 20, 21, or 25 years. She was drunk, all drunk. Don't know what really happened. And some guys just left her to start the, the position. A madman, a man that is mentally imbalanced, positioned him. I think that was a ritual, or I don't know what, uh, what that can be done. The girl was just drunk and drunk. She was just staggering. As she was walking, a madman came and jumped her, put her in his shoulder. People were victimizing them. People gathered, they refused to show their faces, but they were the ones that did it. A madman carried the lady in his shoulder. A particular place and open the ladies to a young lady, pretty lady. That's why you want to be careful. The places you go to drink, the people you call your friends. Yeah, you know, yeah. My man took her to a corner and put her trouser, put his own trouser, and slept with the lady. My people were visiting me, visiting them. We can. survive in the time we are in, the day we are in, you need the fire. You need the fire. In the physical world, fire is easily noticeable. So when you carry out fire, demons will notice it, men will notice it, people around you will know that this person is untouchable. He's a person of fire. They are or they are not. That's what fire does. It cannot light up a fire in this place that the fire will be noticed. Fire cannot be burning in the house and people around will do nothing that there is fire in the house. Or there is fire in the mountain. That is what happens to you as a child of God when you carry out of God's fire. No evil before you, no prayer come near you. Below there is something Yeah. 
shouted them and put us in master. Why don't we call out fire like Elijah to consume them? You know, for you to be distinguished in the time we are in, for you to be honored, for you to live and survive, you need fire. It's not a time for men Christianity. It's not a time to just go to church and clap your hands. No, this is a time to prepare yourself. This is a time to set yourself on fire. It's not a battle line I've been drawn between darkness and light. The battle line I've been drawn between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. So you must be ready. You must equip yourself with fire. Can you say fire? You know, if you have run your Christian life in the energy of the flesh, which are the fire of God, which are the fire of the Holy Ghost, then you are operating in a danger zone. If you have been operating or you have run your Christian life in the energy of the flesh, everything is just going to Jesus said, it is better to get the first prophets not to the one that God has put out that line. The flesh kill it. But the spirit kill it, kill it life. You cannot survive in the flesh. Life cannot be survived in the flesh. You are a spirit. And you can only survive by the spirit of God. Have you run your Christian life with the energy of the flesh with that fire? Then you are operating in a danger zone. You need fire to be picked. You need fire to conquer new ground. You need fire to defeat them in every battle of life. You need fire. You need fire to survive even in your family. You need fire to survive in where you are married. You need fire to survive in your office. Or wherever you are doing business. The lady who was selling in the markets and, 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 and she was making her money, they, 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 they sell cow meat. So those times, all she does does is to talk, she don't need that talk. The meat that all other to sell for plate around, she can sell them for one thousand or one two. And a lady came and told her, why are you spoiling the market for us? And death to that woman. Ten hours that killed the woman. So are you ready to keep in the next competition? If you're not in Christ, you won't be for the devil. Then the devil will destroy you at the end. So you better seek for Jesus. So I can equip you for the time which we are in. When you are picking, the glory of God will be seen all around in your life. And you become a terror to all enemies of divine destiny. When you are full of fire, you will be picking. And when you are picking, the glory I'm 
must pray hard. You must pray hard. For you to catch this fire. For so you must pray hard. You must be a person of prayer. Not just a normal Christian, a person of prayer. Not just a church goer, a person of prayer. You must pray hard. Because the light of praise and the there was no way for ten and a half years. Ordinary person would have the fire cannot command such sign. He prayed, and the Bible said the hell was shot. For ten and a half years, there was no way in the land. And he also came and prayed, and that the Nale came and prophesied rain of revival in your life. Rain of revival in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. So much that that people could not behold his face, they have to cover his face with something with mask for him to minister to them. They could not behold his face. Why? Fire. Moses was one of my tormented Egypt, the Egyptian cross and the Egyptian armies, the Egyptian magic, he tormented by fire. A light of the man of fire, a light of the man of fire.
It's time to live your life. Upon the altar of God, let the fire of God envelop you. It's time to lay ourselves down to God. Lay ourselves upon the altar of grace. For the fire of God to envelop us for the time we are in. Because the time we are in is an injury time. Not just here in life, even in America. People are not finding it easy in America. They are not finding it easy in Canada. They are not finding it easy in Australia. They are not finding it easy in United Kingdom or Europe. People are suffering all over the world. So for you to survive in time, you need to be prepared. You need a fire. You need to pray hard and serve God. Many people don't want to serve God. Many in our time, they, they just come to church, they clap, they don't want to serve God with their body and with their talents. The Lord God needs you more than you need Him. So if God needs you, you will set your fire to deal with the devil, to deal with the angels of hell. Praise God. Let's keep looking to Acts chapter 2, 1 to 4. Acts chapter 2, 1 to 4. If you are just shot, amen. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Say, and when the day of Pentecost fully come, then we are all with one accord in one place. They were all in one accord in one place, not divided. The problem with entire church today is division. This one of my church, this one of our church. Division is the problem. That's where the fire cannot come. Who are the people around or the source? They cannot stand the fire of God. And because we are divided, you are the only one in the God in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as the Russian might wind and filled all the house where they were sitting. There appeared unto them glowing tongues like as of fire. Can you say fire? And, and it sat upon each of them. Therefore, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues. We have to speak in other tongues as they speak in the utterance. Deal with fire, they have to speak in tongues. It was after this incident that Peter went back to the synagogue to preach. He said, Arrest him. He said, Cannot arrest him. Praise God. I said, Praise God. Number three, you must be hungry. You must be hungry for God. You must be thirsty for Him. You cannot catch the fire when you are not thirsty for it. You cannot catch the fire when you do not anyhow. When you shut fire, you become an empty fire when you are not prepared. So you must be hungry and thirsty for God when you set your fire to survive in that we are in. Number four, you must desire. To catch the fire. What we desire is what you get. The early church survived in the face of strong opposition. They survived in the, in the face of strong opposition. Why? Because they had the fire. The missing ingredient in the history of the entire church is fire. That's the missing ingredient. Who church you go to? I go to such church, I go to such church. You wear your bangle and all that. Yeah, you have no fire. The things are going on. Oh. The only church of mine in the face of strong opposition by being possessed with the fire of the Holy Spirit. The missing ingredient in the history of the entire church is the lack of fire. Lack of fire, lack of fire. This will be brought back. Fire will be brought back. Fire will be brought back. This one receive fire in the name of Jesus. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. Now, 
this fire from now, you cannot be possessed. You cannot be oppressed. And you cannot be depressed. Below when the fire is brought back to the church, we know who spring on. What brings you mama is fire. When the fire is high, things begin to happen. When the fire is high, you have to begin to take the breakthroughs. God begins to multiply his church when the fire is high. Let's see some, some 
people pass three to four. As we run up. Psalm 34, 3 to 4. Praise God. I said, Hallelujah. If you're happy, shout Amen. You are watching online, shout Amen. God, we perfect our concerns in this morning in the name of Jesus. Pastor said, Who shall say to the year of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and pure hearts who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn discipline. That's the one that can catch the fire. So if your, your hands are not clean and you're going to be like your hands are clean, God will hear you. Because by the, by the prophet of day, who we are calling on fire, 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 fire. And like I said, it's, it's like your God is very far. Call him more. Fire, 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 fire. Then we are, their hands are not clean. Evil men, corrupt men, murderers, killers. The heaven was shot against them. Because the Bible was between light and darkness. And when Elijah came, the Bible said he gathered the people. He repaired the altar of righteousness that was broken, that was destroyed, that was defied. These are messages we need to preach in our churches, in our major conventions. To bring back the fire to the church. Otherwise, we will not be saying, hey, a uh, pitiful uh, Muslim, Muslim ticket, we will vote people. You will talk and talk and nothing will happen. We don't need to talk in this thing. Let's go back to, to the mountain and pray. Even the church is divided. Some people say it's a uh, uh, tribal or the kind of uh, uh, things that are happening all over the world. We need a fire. We don't need the mountain to the church. To change the situation in your nation or in Nigeria, you will only need one man, Elijah. After all, the day Elijah said, God, I want to die, I'm the only one left, take me. Of course, 7,000 have all bowed down to me. Seven, but, but in the land, God only, because Elijah was outstanding. So in Nigeria, we don't need to be big men, just need one man. It can be a small boy. It can be me, and I'm standing in that camp today. I decree that shall be a turnaround in Nigeria. That shall be a turnaround in the church of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every agent of darkness, every block shocking demon in Nigeria, I command it to be arrested in the name of Jesus. It's the only condition. To seek God and pray where He is. Holiness, purity. Moses was as holy as pure. Pure. God alone will corrupt me. There was a way when I come, so if you don't raise the one that all our members, we, we fix prayer, they come. Jesus said in Matthew 5 8 to bless are the pure in heart bless are the pure in heart bless are the pure in heart that they shall seek God you cannot seek God and love him and sin you cannot seek God and remember perfectly you cannot seek God and remember sickly on daily basis you cannot seek God and spend your money I shall not die. I shall, I shall not die. But you to declare the words of God. The price of purity. The price is a price. 
Christ prepared for purity, the prosperous, pure, gracious honors and favor Joseph and Potiphar's house paid the price of not yielding to temptation of immorality. Joseph in Egypt, his father was not there, his mother was not there, nobody was there, the apostle was not there. It is there. Say, how can I commit so painful? God. Such great wickedness for was a pure man, and God committed him. God honored him. God will honor you. Amen. I said, God will honor you. As you live holy and pure in heart, God of true and blessed and ministry will be honored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Joseph survived in his time. He survived because he paid a price for a fire. Live holy, live pure. They accused him. His brothers accused him. Potiphar's wife accused him. A lot of persons accused him. They ridiculed him. Demoted him. Dishonored him. Imprisoned him. But at the end, because he was a holy man, he was a man of fire, God lifted him. This chapter of the three, God will lift you. Amen. God will lift you. Amen. God will distinguish you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, I want to put the people back to the to let you know that there is no crown without crisis. And there is no crown without a cross. What is a cross? The cross is the price you pay for your lifting. The price you pay for your rising. For Jesus to be exalted and, and was sitting with his father, he came, uh, uh, he, he was all because he paid a price on the cross. He was humiliated, dishonored, despised. But yet, in him, the Bible said there was no sin. There was no iniquity found. So God exalted him and gave him a name that's above all names. And I mentioned that name Jesus, every knee bowed. And he said, God, pick up to everyone that's following him. Everyone that is serving in the spirit and in the truth. There can be no crown. There can be no crown. There can be no honor. There can be no distinction without the cross. After the cross is a crown. After the trials, after the temptations, after the storms is the crown of glory. The pure are fearless and bold. When you are pure, when you are holy, you become bold and fearless. It doesn't matter what you are saying or where the devil put your name. You are not moved. You are only moved by the word of God. Can you say amen? Let somebody open to Job chapter 11 verse 15. Job 11 15. Praise God. If you are just shot, amen. amen. Job 11, verse 15. Praise God. Hallelujah. What is what the Bible says? Job 11, 15. Say what? Dear, then shall thou. Okay, just, just, just read from verse 11. Just what you get. You get it better. Uh -huh. For the also. Uh -huh. We see a uh -huh. will be wise. For be wise. Be wise. So, the Verse 
mighty name. Lord, I thank you for your word. 
We shall not return to him for the accomplish. And I will send it to the Lord. Thank you very much. Put our hands this morning. Give your praise. 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 Hallelujah. Give your praise this morning. Give your praise. Come and join us. 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 Come and join
in the name of Jesus. Can you shout out the name again? God. Thank you, Father. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. In the name of the somebody who is sitting in your bottom right now, you are feeling very calm. Can you stand up and just bell? Right now, come on. Stand up! Go! Get out from that sick bed in the name of Jesus! Amen! I destroy the negative medical reports. Amen! I destroy the negative medical reports. Amen! In the name of Jesus. Amen! I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Amen! And the blessings of the Lord shall upon you. Amen! Jesus name. Amen. 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 Am